The RHS was founded in 1804 by Sir Joseph Banks and John Wedgwood with the mission of encouraging and improving the science, art and practice of horticulture. And ever since that day, we've been collecting material that help us with that mission, from herbarium specimens through to rare books, botanical artwork, even examples of plant diseases. And that collection of material is just as relevant today as it was in 1804. Here at the RHS we've got Doctors of Entomology, Doctors of Pathology, Doctors of Botany, Doctors of Soil Science. The special thing about the RHS is we're, we're the only organisation doing this kind of research with gardeners' interests at heart. Because of that science, because of that horticultural skill, because of all the gardeners who've been involved and interested from Sir Joseph Banks onwards, we have the most amazing gardens in this country. I think we, we're really proud of the work that the RHS does. It's something very specific, very niche, and it's something that we've actually achieved a lot of firsts in science in terms of horticultural knowledge. With our group of scientists at Wisley, they are researching into all sorts of different pests and diseases, plant health, gardening in a changing climate, the naming of plants, plant science for everybody involving citizen scientists as well as top PhD students and professors. If we don't do it, I really don't know who is going to. The work we do in science is often interlinked with other sections of the RHS. We often do outreach activities with education. We do work with microscopes so that they can look at some common garden insects up close and then through that also get them interested in horticulture and science. Oh, the kids love it. They think it's fantastic. They love going outside, they love checking how things are growing and the benefits, how it links to our maths and our science are great. The most rewarding thing for me is seeing scientists share the knowledge that we've done through research. So last year we actually answered over 90,000 inquiries from our RHS members alone. We're a nation of gardeners but we're losing the skills and of the horticulturists that we have coming to join us at the RHS as apprentices, as students, as PhD students we need these skills. And if the RHS doesn't do something about this and do something soon, I really worry for the future of horticulture. One of the great things about the RHS is if you are passionate about horticulture and you do want a career in gardening, the RHS is there, it invests in its staff, it supports people. And that is something that is so fabulous about the RHS. It's sort of everything that it's cracked up to be. It really is um, a brilliant experience, which it would be great if lots more people could do it. I think some of the work the science team do is almost shut away at the moment and I don't think people really realise what the breadth of our science teams actually do uh, and as a gardening charity it's such an important part of our work. This is such an exciting time at the RHS. We recently announced the launch of our strategic investment programme and that really invests £120 million of our funds and we're going to be aiming to raise £40 million from external sources. At the real core, the very heart of this programme is horticultural science and the investments that we want to make in this are really extensive and the impact it will have on our country is major.